Yeah, well, how you doing? Great. How you doing? We just were talking to Jeff Wilson there. He's got a, quite a personality. You know, like, oh, yeah. Can you kind of describe like, you know, how you got to know him and just kind of what he brings to the team off the field? Um, as you can see, I'm um, a very physical guy out there on the field, but um, FA really funny, cool, cool to be around. Uh, just hanging around a little bit outside of ball, it's, it's just cool just to get to know him as a person outside of, you know what I'm saying, him just running through people out here on the green. We were talking to him about the speed that he reached in, in the Rams game, almost 22 miles per hour. Do you guys take note of that? Do you kind of, uh, you know, say, hey, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty good? I mean, we don't know until, you know what I'm saying, they bring it to us, but as you can see, I, um, I said it on the sideline when I seen him running, I was like, oh yeah, he was really moving. And 22 is really moving. You know what I'm saying? You get in the car and we're going 22 miles per hour, you put him beside about the same. Are those readings accurate? I mean, when you have a big play and you're moving, uh, and then you, you look at the data after the game, do you, are, do you know like what moment you, you reach your, your highest speed? Um, we don't go look at the data unless they, you know what I'm saying, they tell you what you hit, but it's not something we just go look at, you know. When you're in the middle of a run, do you feel like when you hit your peak though? Um, I hit my peak in about the first 20, first 20 yards and just kind of let it take me on through because um, I'm a fast twitch type of guy. So I probably get to 20 in about 20 and just let it coast. Probably get to 21 and some change, but I don't think I'm going to hit 22, though. It was the second half of that game against the Panthers. Did, was that the first time, or did you guys kind of feel like you were, as an offense, getting close to what you're capable of doing? Um, as, we, as we come in and watch the film the next day, that was a lot, a lot of mistakes that we made that you would never know about. Um, and we take pride in that, and that's why we come in week in and week out and come out here every day and just correct all the mistakes we made and try to move forward. You, you, when you catch passes over the middle and you, you get free, you, you often take a very roundabout path to the, the end zone. How do you sort of map it out in your head? How do you figure out which way I'm going to go? When you get I don't the ball think you can head. map out where you're going. You just run where you see space, and that's just what I do. But you, you seem very good. I mean, you were teasing Juwan about you know not going out of bounds and cutting it back in. You seem very good at knowing when to do that. I mean, is it just instinct, or I think it's more so instincts. I think Juwan just got tired after talking to him about it. He just got tired and just went out of bounds. So uh, we got on him about that because he definitely could score. When you see players Last making one. a jump from your one to your two, your three, or even in yourself, what at what point in your career did you realize what you need to do in the NFL offseason to truly be successful? Mm. I would say the year after I got hurt, going into last season, um, with Wes Welker, him, you know what I'm saying? He said he ain't hit his peak until going to his year three, year four. And so um, it's all about uh, building a routine and changing a lot of things that you do in the offseason that you would normally do just to be the player that you want to be. Let me cut off. You guys look for anything else? Oh, just how was uh, ATV riding yesterday? Oh, that was fun. Um, I'm thinking about doing it again, but um, I don't know. Because after, afterwards, it was a little tired, but it was actually fun. That was fun first time? First time doing it? No. Nah, oh. I'm from the country. You know, we do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Contra as he looked like he was I don't finished. know what happened to him. I ain't no, not going to lie, though. He did get lost out there. I don't know how he got lost <laughs> in the woods. Um, I think it was probably his first time, him driving slow, and we didn't realize. And then we uh, we made a little circle around up top wherever he was up there. And we just see him just sitting there like, <laughs> and we was like, what happened? He was like, man, y'all lost me. I was like, bro, I thought y'all was, because me and B.A. was like the first two, and then Jawan and J. Poe and Danny and all them was behind us. Like, you going through that trail, you're not just going to keep looking around. You might run into a tree or something. So <laughs> it was fun out there. <laughs> Thank you. All right.